Hello. When working with derivatives, a very common type of problem that you're going to encounter all the time is one that sounds something like this. Determine the equation of a tangent to the graph of a function, let's say f of x equals to 3x at power 3 plus 2x squared minus 6x plus 5 at a particular point, let's say when x equals 1. Let's first analyze what exactly does this problem uh, asking us to find. This problem it's asking us to determine the equation of the tangent to the graph of this function at a particular point. But what we already know is that the slope of this tangent is nothing else than the derivative of this function at that point. And that's actually the most important thing to determine the equation of a line. If you know the slope, all you need is a point for which we already have the x-coordinate. So let's actually calculate this slope of the tangent by determining the derivative of f of x. So f prime of x is going to be d dx of this expression, 3x to the power 3 plus 2x squared minus 6x plus 5. And I'm going to calculate this quite directly because I consider that you already practiced with uh, previous examples that I gave you. So it's going to be 3 times 3, the power, which is 9, x to the power 3 minus 1, which is 2, plus uh, 2 times 2, which is 4, x to the power 2 minus 1 is going to be 1, so x only, minus 6, and the 5, derivative of 5 is 0, so I'm not writing anything there. So this is f prime of x, which represents the slope of the tangent uh, basically at any point. Now what we need to determine is uh, the equation of this tangent when x is 1, so also the slope of the tangent only when x is 1, it's important to us uh, for this uh, problem. So I'm going to have to determine f prime of 1, which represents the slope of the tangent when x equals 1. So that's easy to determine, right? f prime of 1, uh, I'm going to plug this value of 1 everywhere I see x in the expression of f prime of x. So I'm going to have 9 times 1 to the power 2 plus 4 times 1 minus 6. And this equals to 7. This 7 represents the slope of the tangent to the graph of our function when x is 1. This is what we were looking for, the most important part. And now we have the slope of the tangent. To determine the equation, we need also one point on that uh, tangent. And one point that we know is exactly when x equals to 1. All we have to do now is when x equals 1, calculate f of 1 to find the y value for that point of intersection between that point that is common to both uh, the tangent and the graph of the function. So f of 1 is going to be 3 times 1 to the power 3. So I'm looking at the expression of f of x now, right? Be careful with this. Uh, 3 times 1 to the power 3 plus 2 times 1 to the power 2 minus 6 times 1 plus 5. And if we evaluate this expression, it's going to be 4. So we can say that the point 1 and 4, of coordinates 1 and 4, is the point of tangency, belongs to the function and the tangent as well. Based on the definition of the slope, we know it's uh, delta y over delta x, right? That m, it's delta y over delta x. That means y minus y0 over x minus x0. x0 and y0 being the coordinates of a known point. In our case, we already found this point of coordinates 1 and 4 uh, that belongs to the tangent, right? And we know that the slope at that point, we calculated earlier, uh, has the value of 7. So all I have to do is replace all the known values in this expression and determine the equation of the line. So let me write this over here where I have some space. Instead of m, I'm going to replace everything with the values that I have. So instead of m, the slope is 7. Equals to y minus y0, it was uh, 4, over x minus uh, x0 is 1, right? Now I'm going to uh, reorganize this expression so it looks uh, like we know uh, the equation of a line should look like. So I'm going to say y minus 4 equals to 7 times x minus 1 and separate y on the left and everything on the right. 
and it's going to be y equals 7x minus 3. And this is the equation of the tangent when x equals to 1. That's how you calculate the equation of a tangent to the graph of a function at a particular point. It's pretty straightforward as long as you know the correspondence between uh, the derivative and the tangent to a graph at a particular point. What that derivative represents is the slope of the tangent. And as long as you know that, you can uh, calculate all these steps and find the equation quite easily.